Let's talk about Diddy. So is there a Diddy client list, just like the Epstein list? Diddy's, of course, allegedly the Epstein of the rap world and a lot of powerful people running nervous today throughout Hollywood and in Washington. I bet they are. So last night, Homeland Security officials raided the Los Angeles home of rapper and music mogul Sean Diddy Combs and then also in Miami. Simultaneously, coast to coast, they swooped in. In Miami, they had to use boats to come as well as their armored vehicles, and they did the same in Los Angeles. And all in connection to this massive sex trafficking investigation. Here's how the news broke on Wolf Blitzer. Breaking news, the Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed to CNN that federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. Yeah. So right now he's involved in five different lawsuits, civil lawsuits. And he denies wrongdoing in any of them, of course. He says, quote, let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth, he says. One of the lawsuits revealed today uh, has Prince Harry uh, involved in the lawsuit. Why is Prince Harry named in the lawsuit? And would apparently go to Diddy's sex trafficking parties um, on a regular basis. So this could be more headaches for the uh, for the royal family. Here's a part of the lawsuit. That is that, was, is that, is that, sorry, is that him with Kate Middleton? Sorry, I, I'm right, still trying to figure out who Kate. That's Middleton Kate is. Middleton on the right. Yeah, that's okay, that's the you. new AI general. That's when you type in Kate Middleton <laughs> into Google Gemini, you'll get a black P Diddy. That's how it works. <laughs> So among the specific acts in the lawsuit were Combs' use of vast sums of cash, drugs, fake promises of career opportunities, access to music industry executives and circumstances that could have prompted defendants, um, including uh, Universal Music Group and other employees to specifically raise questions about Combs' sex trafficking. Affiliation with or sponsorship of Mr. Combs' sex trafficking parties garnered legitimacy and access to celebrities such as famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, international dignitaries like British royal Prince Harry. And people were forced to sign NDAs prior to entering his parties and prior to being drugged and sex trafficked at these parties, according to the lawsuit that was just filed. So we have that piece of it. So when you start to peel back this law, I think it's very important as we kind of unpack this Diddy story over the next few weeks and we look more deeply into this to remember that that he is probably a low level guy in this. I think it's probably safe to say that it goes way higher. And I think it's safe to say that he's probably taking the fall, falling on a sword right now. Yes, involved in some awful things, allegedly but it goes much higher than him. And so who can we throw out there like Jeffrey Epstein to fall on the sword and then have everything squashed, hidden, put away so that we don't know the details of it? Um, he, of course, hated Trump. P. Diddy did. Wanted to go. So it's very weird that they would eat one of their own, isn't it? Like, he's very much a pro-Biden guy. He loved President Obama. So it's very odd. Something is very, very odd about the whole thing. Thinks that uh, we should do away with President Trump, um, that he should be banished. So there's a long history, though, of like young individuals who've now grown up and they've talked about their experiences spending time as a young person, underage, being sort of brought into these sex, sex parties and these environments at, at Diddy's home um, almost like they were orphans in a way. Usher, who of course just sang at the Super Bowl halftime show, I was on Howard Stern's show talking all about this. We talked about all of the weird times that he had, and he was brought in at a young age to hang out with, with Diddy and got to see a lot of things. So watch this really awkward exchange and pay attention to the subtexts here. Moved to New York City. 
and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp? Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was... And it was about I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. All you know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have- 13 years old. There have been many weird young children encounters that Diddy himself has filmed over the years. Um, like, for instance, this... Well, we'll, we'll play... I want to play this Justin Bieber thing here in a second, which we'll show you here. But the Justin Bieber's father-in-law, Stephen Baldwin, just posted a video on Instagram today calling out the demonic tough guys and, quote, bitches in Hollywood that hide behind their accounts after the news broke of the raid on Diddy's home. It's a very odd video, but we'll show you why it may be not so odd in just a second when we show you very young Justin Bieber in just a moment. So this is Justin Bieber's father-in-law posting a video calling out demonic tough guys. Does he know, okay, this something bigger is about to go down? that this is just one small piece of the puzzle. It's much bigger than Puff Daddy. Watch. This is a comment about some of the comments, which I rarely comment, but since some folks have chosen to be obviously demonic, therefore it's not their fault. So I'm here just to share a beautiful message of hope, unconditional love and peace to all of the haters out there god bless you pray for your enemies do unto others as you would have them do unto you and remember when i see you on the street if you slap me in the face I will turn the other cheek, but if I feel that second cheek stinging, you better run. Uh, <laughs> what? Was what? Uh, <laughs> was I that just, a Cino man? I, I'm what speechless. Was... Like. <laughs> I've, I mean, I've interviewed Stephen. I've had him in the studio, and he's. Uh, he he needs the cowboy up. He was. I think. He was. He was. He was kind to me. Uh, he he didn't slap me. I don't know what what was going on there. If you see me on the street, and you slap me, you better be prepared. I'm gonna slap you right back. So Justin Bieber, um, in a famous now maybe now famous video, I'm gonna make it famous here by showing it. The young Justin Bieber talking about this weird sort of Diddy summer camp excursion that sort of Usher was just talking about and, and others have talked about and what's going on here. But here's that video you can see with Justin Bieber. Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Yeah, I'm going crazy. I'm just going to say whatever he's saying because he's the adult and I'm just a kid, so I don't know what the hell we're doing. What does Buck, excuse me, Mr. Diddy, what does Buck Full Crazy actually mean? Because I thought this was like a summer camp 
I don't know what the hell we're doing here, but what are we doing? What does buck full crazy even mean? So now photos have emerged of P. Diddy Combs with Rachel Chandler, who's, of course, been linked to Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, several other of the associates. Here you can see Ra Rachel Chandler saying, I'm 14 years old in this photo. Here she is, 14 years old. And here's, uh, here is, yes, here is Bill Clinton. Um, you can see Bill Clinton here with, uh, with Rachel as well. You can see that. And then Prince Andrew as well, which I'll need to get here if you don't have it. Philip, do you have it or no? I don't have it. Okay. No, I, I, I read it as, as a, four, a picture of four things. That's okay. Let me just take it back to me real quick and I'll get it here. So there's uh, Bill Clinton. And let me just pull this up here. And here is, of course, hold on one second. There we go. There's Prince Andrew with uh, Rachel as well and Ghislaine Maxwell there. So, wow, this... That's a connection, right? The Epstein connection, the Bill Clinton connection, the Prince Andrew connection, all with this uh -oh, Rachel. You, you just said she who should not be named. <laughs> oh, good Lane Maxwell. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was a time YouTube when you mentioned her. Saying you, that name. When you say that name, oof, you know what happens to YouTube videos. Oh, my gosh. Um, so look, we should be clear. Again, he hasn't been charged with anything yet on the criminal side. He hasn't been arrested. And when they showed up at his house, houses, they went in, took out massive loads of electronics and cardboard boxes, and they just kept filling it up. Two of his sons were at one location in, uh, I believe it was Los Angeles, when they were handcuffed and brought out as well of the house. Uh, he was not at home. And TMZ caught up with him uh, at the airport where he was about to board his private jet when the Department of Homeland Security rolled up on him. And uh, so he wasn't going anywhere. His jet then left from Los Angeles and was flying and didn't include P. Diddy. So he is not on board that jet. It did arrive in Antigua, according to reports, Antigua and Barbados, um, Barbuda, excuse me, Antigua and Barbuda. And in Antigua, so a lot of people wondering, like, well, now it's grounded in Antigua. Did it fly off to Cape Verde? Is it going there as a non-extradition country something? And did were there things on board that they were trying to hide and get it out of country so they couldn't be extradited? Who knows? That's what some people are speculating. That there were things on board that plane, not Diddy himself, but maybe important pieces of information. Who knows? That's pure speculation. We have no confirmation of that. But we do know that he wasn't on board. We do know that he was seen then in Miami and the Department of Homeland Security rolled up on him and his flight wasn't going anywhere. But he hasn't been arrested at this hour, to our knowledge. And what will they be looking for? Now, according to, of course, law enforcement officials, you don't go to this phase of an investigation unless you, this is like the end of the investigation, basically. Like you've done all of, you've heard all the reports, you've heard all the reports of sex trafficking, You've heard eyewitness testimony, you've heard, seen the evidence, you've seen pieces of evidence, and now you're going into the home to confirm a lot of those pieces at the end. And that's what this is about. But again, no arrest yet, no handcuffs. What's going to come of it? He maintains his innocence, he's posted. That he has haters who just want to get into his pocket, he said. But there's a long history here of his family and its relationship in weird ways to the CIA. Diddy's father, Melvin Combs, famously worked for Frank Lucas. And his father, Melvin Combs, there he is. Diddy's father was a drug dealer. He was a drug dealer who ran, and he worked for Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas, of course, who ran heroin for the CIA. Now, Frank Lucas was, of course, the heroin king, um, worked for the CIA, ran money, ran heroin for the CIA, and, uh, yes, worked with Melvin Combs. So Frank Lucas was then, of course, turned into a film, and you might even know the name. Many eagle-eyed observers might be aware of who Frank Lucas was, was played, uh, and that was Denzel Washington, played him in the movie American Gangster. So he played, played Frank Lucas, who was friends with Diddy's father. Um, here is the drug king, Frank, talking about working with P. Diddy's father, Melvin and how he's upset that he got shot. He ended up getting shot in a dropped but in a botched drug raid or a, um, a, a handoff of drugs, and he got shot. He was the wrong person to get shot. 
I think they were trying to go after Frank Lucas. He got shot instead. Listen to him talking about this. I'm Ray Lucas. This is my dad, Frank Lucas. And shout out to Vlad TV. Thanks for setting up this interview. Me and Melvin Cohen were good friends. We were good friends. We were good friends. We did a lot of business together. Of course, it was not a legal business, but we did a lot of business together. And um, I was sorry to see what happened to him. him. That shocked the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. And the the guy who did it, I'm glad he got what he got. Mm -hmm. And I know Melvin used to come to your club, the turntable, a lot. Yeah, yes, he did. He come there all the time. Melvin, Melvin was like a lady man. Yeah, he come there all the time. He come to my club all the time. Yes, he did. Can you say the name of your club? The Lord Price Turntable, Fifty Second and Broadway. I met Sean Cohen. Uh, I met him when he was a little boy. He used to come over to my house. His daddy used to bring him over to my house. He used to come see me on various businesses, and he used to bring him over to my house. Yeah. So the story gets thicker. And be really interesting to know what the CIA connection is, if there is any, and what sort of uh, what sort of dirt Diddy has on a lot of other people right now, and is he taking the fall for a lot of other people who are hoping and praying that the light of day doesn't come out in this? Um, as Breitbart News reported, several sexual assault lawsuits have been filed against Combs in recent months, including a lawsuit from R&B singer Cassie that was settled last year. Another one of Combs' accusers was a woman who said the rap producer raped her two decades ago when she was 17. Uh, of course, Combs, again, has denied all the allegations, says they're, they're sickening allegations, and they're people trying to make a pretty penny off of him, a quick payday. And... Um, a male male music producer also accused Diddy of sexually assaulting him, forcing him to have sex with prostitutes. Um, he's denied those claims as well. So I think we're going to see a lot of information, although it'll be interesting to see if it's similar to the Epstein saga where we don't get to see a client list. We don't get to see who signed NDAs. We don't get to see the names of these people that have come to these you know, sex trafficking parties. But we do know from the Department of Homeland Security, this is a sex trafficking ring that they're trying to bust up here. Um, how deeply does it go, and how and where does it go? When did you see the updates well, we need on Twitter to say right that he now that left the country? What'd you say? He 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 left the country. He flew to. He landed in Antigua. People are speculating that he's going to yeah. uh, Cape Verde because they have no extradition extradition treaty with the United States. Now that part isn't verified, but they did verify he did land in T- in Antigua yesterday uh, and did in fact leave the country. Okay. Well, I didn't see that he left. He made it to Antigua. Um, what I saw, according to reports, is that he was in Miami, and TMZ verified that with with video of him at the airport when the DHS rolled up on him and said, "You're not going anywhere." So apparently, the 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 plane. I mean, unless there, unless there's new information of him making it to Antigua, the plane made it to Antigua, but he wasn't on it because the plane left from Los Angeles and went over his location and didn't even land in in Miami. So. I'm not exactly sure where that information is coming from, uh, but it'd be interesting to see. I, I've seen conflicting reports about him being in Antigua or not, uh, but according to TMZ, he was in Miami. Maybe he somehow made it to Antigua. I don't know, but um, the latest report that I saw is that he he was rolled up on by Department of Homeland Security in Miami. So, again, um, I don't know if that's old. those are old photos or not, or if he's been then stuck in Antigua and he's wait because Antigua has an extradition treaty with the United States, so it's not like he's if they want him, they're going to get him in Antigua. It's, this is not a big deal. Um, and there are and even in Cape Verde, I know people are like there's no extradition treaty. Cape Verde has a relationship with the United States, and they absolutely would ha- be able to transfer a criminal back and forth. So there's no the only like he'd be safe maybe going to like Ghana. Literally, like, there's, like, a few places, or maybe Russia. Like, that's about it. But Cape Verde? No. The United States would get him back in a heartbeat, and say, say also, to in Antigua and Barbuda. So it doesn't really matter where he is. They will get him. You, Sam Bankman freed. You want to be in the Bahamas? It doesn't matter. They will get you. They will get you wherever they want to find you. Um, that's what will happen. By the way, we should mention... Um, that last photo I, I showed inadvertently, I, I, I said that was uh, Rachel Chandler also. I, I meant to say that was Virginia Dufre. Um, so just to be clear on that last photo with Prince Andrew, uh, the point was showing all of these guys with these like 14-year-old girls, um, and they all look very, very similar. So Rachel Chandler in 
with P. Diddy and then Bill Clinton, Virginia Dufre with the photo with Prince Andrew. So just to be clear and correct that there. So I don't know, guys. I feel like I this is... Like a, go ahead, Philip. I'd, I'd, like I'd like to point out uh, just as a prediction that uh, P. Diddy did not kill himself. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like the type that he would do that, right? He doesn't seem the type that would suicide. No, but no, but, but you know, a lot of the people that a lot of the people that you know, quote unquote, do, uh, probably weren't the type of people that would do it either. Yeah. So I just 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 getting ahead of that one uh, before he Epstein's himself. Yeah. So uh, Newsweek is Newsweek says no, Diddy has not landed in Antigua. So and this is coming from the uh, prime minister, the Carib uh, Caribbean island prime of of, uh, of Antigua. No, he's not in Antigua. So just to be clear about that, he's not there. So I think he is still in Miami, according to the data that I saw and reports that I saw. Um, but his yeah, jet on Twitter, they're like tracking his plane. So his his plane did land in Antigua, and then they said there was no uh, proof that it went on to uh, Cape Verde or whatever. But yeah, uh, so his his plane must have, but he must not have been on it then. Yeah. Yep, yep. So let us know your thoughts on this. This is just the beginning of this story, folks. This is just the beginning. We're about to peel back some real serious stuff. Does it lead to, where does it lead to, to you know, these other members of Hollywood right now? There's a lot of people that are scared. And there's other people saying that there's a, there's a, that he's here and there's like a, there's a woman who's even stronger up here. Um, and a lot of people well, are speculating. As Candace, Owens, as Candace Owens pointed out, she said, this is uh you know, they're not, they're not necessarily there to gather evidence. They're there to hide it. Well, who's they? Oh, meaning the police or the Department the, of Homeland Security? Yeah, the, the Department mm -hmm. of Justice is not there to gather evidence, but to hide it because this probably leads to a, the same people on the Epstein list. It's yeah. probably just a trickle down of that. And we will never see justice for those, for those girls. We'll never see justice for those people in most cases. And those people will be protected still. Yeah. It's sad, sad, but true. Right. We would probably know information pretty quickly if they're going to let us know, like, why this massive investigation, um, multiple, you know, multiple raids across the world, across the country, uh, multiple locations using the Department of Homeland Security. I also thought it was really interesting. Think how many different pieces in the military we have now, uh, or different law enforcement arms of the United States government. Like, where was the FBI in this? No, it's the Department of Homeland Security running this operation. Like, Okay, um, now we have the IRS with a law, you know, a law enforcement division that's growing under Biden. So the Department of Homeland Security. Gl glad they got this, by the way. Glad they're finally tacking, tackling the sex trafficking industry in the United States, something we've been you know, talking about here on the show for, for years that it seems like they don't care about because, by the way, the Department of Homeland Security is facilitating actively. I think it's just totally ironic. Literally our open border and the sex trafficking operation that's pouring across our southern border right now. And they're facilitating it and allowing it to happen with NGOs. Just go back to my interview just a short time ago that we just did tonight with J.J. Carroll. It's happening. They're doing it. And yet they're going after Puff Daddy for sex trafficking in a massive well, yeah, sting it's, it's, operation. It's like they did, it's, it's, it's like they did with, with drugs, like they do with anything. They don't go after the source. They don't go after the the end user. They go after the the middle, like they 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 because that's the people, you know, the people in the middle are the ones that they can arrest easily. They don't have to worry about them having either a ton of money or just you know, it's it's just like that, that's what they want to do. They don't want to go for the top. They don't want yeah. to find out who the who the people are that like with the sex trafficking. They don't they don't actually want to grab the people that are are on the on the end the end user so to speak. You know, they they just want the people yeah. in the middle because. Yeah. They're easily replaceable, and, and, and everything can, can continue as, as usual. Yeah, it's really troubling. <laughs> they can go after him, and they can do this big. You know, by the way, it was also interesting, like, why did the Sky Fox News helicopter? I, I used to work in Los Angeles, and I was actually in charge when I first started the, in the news business. I was in charge of the helicopter. It was my job as a producer back in the day. Um, and I, I never got a phone call at the news desk, like, alerting me that you should go over to P. Diddy's house right now, get the helicopter up, and you might want to come over this way. But those helicopters were up in the air both in Miami and in Los Angeles, and they were right over the homes when this was happening. Who tipped them off about that? That's interesting, right? Did uh, the Department of Homeland Security give a little tip? You might want to head down to 
head down to PDD's home because there might be some action there in a few minutes and we want to have cameras. We want to make an example of them. Both locations, they had helicopters ready to go. Interesting. Let us know your thoughts on this. That's what we know at this hour, but we're just starting to peel the onion back on this stinky, stinky thing. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. You know, YouTube thinks that you'll actually like this next video right here. It's personalized based on your own viewing habits. So if you watch the video, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time, everyone.